What's up everybody? I've got the final piece of the puzzle for the bug. Some fresh tires to go for these wheels I've got buried in the garage. They've been back there for a few months now just waiting for some tires so let's go get them mounted up and see how it looks. Alright, I just got those dropped off. Uh, in the meantime, I need to do a couple little things. Can't have you point at the lights. Alright, so I just got the wheels dropped off. In the meantime, I gotta do a couple little things. Um, some shocks, some park brake cables, just some stuff in the rear. Because um, I was lazy once I got the front all together. So, gotta get the rear fixed up. And then, yeah, hopefully they'll be done. I was trying to jam and get this together really fast, but I got a leaky wheel cylinder, so luckily there's an O'Reilly's right up the road that's got two. I'm gonna go get a pair of these real quick, get this back together. There we have it, new shock, new heater pipe, got new master cylinders, new brake lines back there. The rears are doing good. I got them all adjusted. They got just teeny tiny bit of gap to the drum. The drums are a little rusty and stuff because they weren't actually adjusted right. And um, yeah, so I guess they weren't really doing anything. So it was just all front brake. So got the drums adjusted right. Uh, we should be good to go. Still waiting on discount tire to call me back. It's been like six hours But uh, I'm gonna put it back down on the old wheels and then go see what's up with them Another thing I got done though is relocating the fuel pump into the front wheel well here Doesn't contact the wheel at all. That's full lock open And that is full lock the other way, so we don't even come anywhere close all my hoses are safe, everything's all protected. It's well above the body line, so nothing's gonna catch it. But uh, the main reason I wanted to do this, the main reason I wanted to do this is so I could clear up my spare tire well here, because I actually got five of these fancy wheels and five tires so that I can have a nice little show wheel in the front here. Plus, you know, it's always good to have a matching spare. So, that'll look nice. Look at what we've got. What's up everybody, the wheels are in. Look at these bad boys, these things are sick. These wheels are mobile wagon. All aluminum construction. These are a mobile wagon wheel. They're uh, totally aluminum, CNC formed. These things are awesome. They're super lightweight. With these brand new tires, I mean, this car's driving amazing. Brand new suspension, tires, brakes, everything's new on this thing. So I'm loving how this is driving right now. Damn, I mean, just look at that. You know, when I see a car like this, first thing I do is I say, would you look at this? I cannot get over this thing right now. I am so happy with this right now. It's so good. I, I mean, it's so good. I've been waiting months to put these wheels on this thing. 
I actually can't get over how much a set of tires changes this car. The tires on those old wheels are actually from 2006. <laughs> so they're sitting a little, little, little over 16 years old, but uh, you know, no worries. Um, yeah, these brand new tires are awesome. They're, they're 185, so they're 20 mil wider than the old tires. So you can actually, I mean, you feel a little more stable driving around on them. They got way more grip when I hit the brakes. I'm not just locking up, which is what you want, you know? Not terrifying yourself every time you hit the brakes. You're just going to slide into the person in front of you. Now with these wheels, I actually had to run a 10 millimeter spacer. But luckily you can actually get an empty 10 millimeter spacer off of Rock Auto for like 6 bucks or something. And they actually shipped in time. After I realized I needed spacers and new lug nuts, I uh, spent probably about a day looking for the right spacers for this thing. Because, you know, Amazon's got a bunch of random generic 4x100 ones, but uh, nothing that's 4x130 like the Bug. So you actually had to get Bug specific ones off of Rock Auto, but luckily they had them. So new spacers, got black M14 lug nuts, things looking sleek. Yeah, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I hope you enjoyed.